What's up, Lore Masters? In this series, I'll be taking each of the main captains and discussing the five reasons they are the best captains in the franchise. First one we'll be taking a look at is that of Captain Catherine Janeway. So buckle up, buckaroos, because if Trek culture can build an entire stack of YouTube V-Bucks on doing lists, so can ya boy. Janeway may kill the first man that ever got in between her and her cup of coffee, but never let it be said that she wasn't a good teacher. The intrepid captain would often take those who needed guidance under her wing, giving them advice they would carry with them for a lifetime. Whether it be a former Borg or a little girl that was stuck on the ship with them, she would always be there to help. Keep your shirt tucked in. Go down with the ship. and never abandon a member of your crew. But don't let her gentle nature and good looks surprise you. This is one captain you don't want to invite to a game of Go Fish. Janeway has generally always stood her ground. She doesn't back off and doesn't respond kindly to threats. The captain will go toe to toe with anyone that stands in her way and defend her people to the last. Whether she's kicking your ass in a game of Bob Ross's happy little accidents or staring down the board queen, She's one of those that you might just want to let her win. But I don't like bullies, and I don't like threats. Don't let that mean exterior fool you, though. Janeway would actually listen to her crew. Even though there are some times she would shut them down, on the whole, she was always willing to hear them out and let them plead their case. She knew that the only way to have the best ship and survive was to listen to them and accept the best ideas. Request granted. Send her in. Also, let me ask you this. Do you like science? Janeway loves science. Coming up from the science division, this bad mamacita knows the difference between your quantum singularity and some neutrons. You can see her background in science as a commander. She uses it to work her way out of problems and unlike some female leads we could discuss, doesn't overshadow the actual science officers. Compensate for refractive shielding. Well, you gave us the specifications. Seemed a shame to waste them. But in the end, what her greatest asset was, what mattered to her the most, was her love of her people, her crew. She was, she was dedicated to them and was going to get them home. She was more than willing to sacrifice herself if it meant they would be able to see Earth again. She cared about all of them and truly, they had become her family. It was her mission in life. And she got there, didn't she? She got them home. Well... She didn't get all of them home, not the first time. And it was slow, and it was morbid. Watching her crew die one by one. Oh, it was bad enough that the lower crewmen, the lower decks, were dying, but then Chakotay. And Tuvok would slowly go insane. She had felled some of them, and that just wouldn't do. No, she wouldn't let them all go. The doctor said she was having survivor's guilt, that she was slipping into madness, but she knew. She would show Starfleet Medical. She would go back in time to save those she couldn't, at least some of them. Who cares that the people that did survive had families, had children, that they were happy? No, she didn't save everyone, and the lives of those people didn't matter. She would rewrite the timeline, because... She was Janeway, and Janeway saves all of her people. They would call her insane way, some of them, after this, but she would get her crew home. She would make the Borg pay. They would all pay. Some of them laughed when they first called her insane way, but they wouldn't laugh at insane way in the end. And that's the top five reasons Janeway is the best captain. Who should be next in the series? Should it be Cisco, Picard, Kirk? You decide. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next. Lore Reloaded.